It is an honor for me to uh, be able to share in celebrating Dr. Leo Pauls as a 2018 Emporia State University Distinguished Alumni. I first had the opportunity to meet Dr. Pauls when I was an undergraduate student in the early 70s and I was majoring in elementary education. He was one of my Methodist teachers and his area of expertise was reading. As a teacher, Dr. Pauls was always supportive of his students and every time you walked in his classroom you could always be guaranteed that you were going to see a smile and that he had a laugh to share. He was very encouraging and he encouraged you and pushed you to uh, the highest level. Dr. Paul represents the highest level of educational excellence in the teaching of reading and in teacher education, which is evidenced by all of his many accomplishments. I have been so inspired by Dr. Paul's over the years with his knowledge, with his skills, just with the passion that he has for young people and for teaching. It's because of him that I chose to go into uh, reading and I received my master's degree in reading upon completion of my undergraduate degree. Dr. Paul has a legacy that not only is here at ESU, but it extends across the country as well as internationally. He has done uh, research, he has been a part of many organizations in the support of teacher education. Um, as you note, know, there are many things that he's done with the Jones Institute uh, here in Emporia and also has been a part of the Teachers Hall of Fame. Dr. Pauls has always been passionate about what he does. You could tell that he just loves to teach and he loves to learn. And I'm sure as smart and as brilliant as he is, he had many of opportunities probably to go to uni other universities, but his commitment was to Emporia State. And we here at Emporia State are just thankful that he has shared over three, 30 years of his educational experience and expertise with us. Dr. Paul leaves a gift to all of us as teachers. There's, we, there's a bumper sticker that says, if you can read, thank a teacher. And I'm sure that all of us can look back in our lives and think, when did I learn to read and how did I learn to read? It's such a process. And probably in first grade, we all were just so excited when we came home and we could read See Tip Run or uh, The Dog Chase the Cat. There are skills and strategies that go involved in, that are involved in putting words together. And that was where Dr. Pauls was so brilliant in learning and researching all of the ways that we as teachers can begin the process of teaching children to read. We all know that knowledge is power, and that we can't gain knowledge if we can't read. Dr. Pauls has meant so many things to so many people. He has touched so many lives. Not only was he a teacher, he became a lifelong friend to Ron and I. And on behalf of Ron and I, Dr. Pauls, we just want to thank you for your leadership, for your passion about education, how you have shared your life and your skills with so many people to make us better teachers and that I bet if anywhere you go in the United States in some classroom, there's some person who is benefiting and teaching uh, what you have spent your life doing in the research area and coming up with new strategies. And we just wanna thank you. Ron and I wish you and Karen the best and congratulations.